Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Holotide and today I want to talk about something that might be semi-controversial to some people. I guess it's, uh, it, I have a unique viewpoint being a quote-unquote content creator when it comes to like games and how successful they are and how I look at them and I think that, uh, you know, doing this for like, I don't know, over a decade at this point, I've seen changes, um, especially like on YouTube and Twitch and uh, Justin TV way back in the day, with how people interact with games and how games have moved towards this, you know, games as a live service kind of thing and how back in the day we could just upload a Call of Duty 4 commentary or like, um, you know, a Halo 3 ranked game where you got a perfection and stuff like that. And it wasn't like oversaturated. There weren't like a ton of people uploading and, you know, montages and stuff like that. And now it just feels like you have to kind of have a special either, you know, game mode or gameplay loop or something that provides some type of content that people can upload and it'd be fun and exciting and different and i think that uh, we saw a huge rise with that with you know brs just because it's so random you know the looting aspect of it destiny 2 with like random rolls and guns and stuff but halo i feel like with halo 5 i don't know this might be the hot take but warzone and halo 5 was a good idea in my opinion and i just think that it needed a few changes a few tweaks and i would have wished we would have seen warzone 2.0 or whatever they wanted to call it and halo infinite i know there have been leaks and rumors and there's a certain affinity game mode and blah 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 but something i feel like is missing from halo is that side of things the the content sides because it's not busting on youtube it's not really busting on on twitch i feel like a lot of the content that we see now myself included is news update videos leaks videos rumors videos holy crap they're hiring somebody at 343 videos and instead i look back at like uber nick and all those other guys in Halo 5, doing like challenges and loadout challenges, and it's just not like that anymore. And Halo Infinite doesn't really lend itself to a lot of content creation. Um, you know, I'm just gonna be honest, I feel like nobody really wants to watch a ranked game where you go like 25 and 5 on YouTube unless you're like a pro player and that's fine. I don't that I'm not hating on that at all. I mean those guys are fun to watch. I love watching high level Halo content. You know, but it's just it's just different now. And I feel like Halo as a game suffers from not having something big like that. Now I know people hate BRs that love Halo and stuff. It doesn't have to be a BR, it doesn't have to be extraction shooters. I don't really know. I think any of those game modes if done right would fit into halo and i'm sure that a lot of people are going to yell at me about that but i'm sorry that's my opinion as a 185 year old man with a lot of life experience but even when i try to do like fun content videos like stuff that i had done in the past with like destiny and things like that they don't really pop off very well i i think that Halo as content on these platforms is also kind of dead if it's not a news video just because people are so I'm not excited they just want whatever's next you know and um so like if I do like a challenge video using only melee and grenades or you know I did the spin the wheel challenge and stuff I'm sorry I just hit my mic people just aren't as interested and I feel like they've just kind of moved on from Halo as like content consumption if that makes sense and I get it. I, I really do. I wish that there was more fun videos out there. I wish it was kind of like the old days where, you know, YouTubers would get together and do fun challenges or play together and just laugh. And it's just not like that anymore. I've been reflecting on why I think Halo Infinite has quote unquote failed or what it was missing. And like looking at how the game is now, I just feel like there were so many missed opportunities. I feel like between the crunch and just trying to get the game out and all the pivots to what Halo Infinite was going to be really, really hurt the game. And it's also confusing because we're seeing all these new 
leaked weapon skins and stuff for like the dmr and the spanker and it's like what the heck is going on like that could have just been a whole new weapon or something i don't know i feel like halo's weapon like style was something that it had that was really strong uh just kind of like the armor and stuff like that but uh with some of these leaks i'm not so sure anymore they could have just been new guns or something or variants of like the rocket launcher i don't know and i i understand people are gonna be like well you know halo 3 didn't have a big game mode and stuff but halo 3 was such a moment in time game and forge and custom games and like that era was so big and i feel like now it's not like i feel like custom games and stuff aren't as pop and like they are fun i love you know playing fun game modes and stuff but it's just weird i just it it's really hard to explain but i really do think not having the addition of like a another staple large scale game mode really hurt like uh what was it called way back global battles i think was like the prototype for reach but we have like invasion you know warzone i just feel like we're missing out and btb 2.0 is not scratching that itch by any stretch of the imagination and honestly we're not going to see you know a new game mode that's like that in halo infinite so if anybody from 343 is watching this if i have any type of sway it's to focus on a game that lends you know some type of game mode that lends free marketing content creation and stuff if people are having fun playing it it's just you know maximizing their potential for like getting people to get on the game we live in a time where streamers and youtubers have such a huge sway over their audiences and how they think or what they think about a game or their you know opinions or reviews and stuff like that that i really do think it would benefit to have something that was just like fun large-scale content focus if that makes sense like i i'm not saying this game is just built for streamers and youtubers i feel like people are gonna get really mad about that it's not really what i mean it's just more so like doing things like challenges and just random stuff so who knows maybe that's what the certain affinity game mode was supposed to be and they've pivoted i don't know but if you agree with me make sure you leave a like i read all the comments as well so make sure you leave a comment down below saying that i'm stupid and wrong or that you agree with me if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. We're grinding way towards 15,000 subscribers and like 100 people have unsubbed in the last month because they hate me. Or YouTube is doing that purge thing again. I don't know, but I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!